my name is Keith Cormack, and I'm the founder of Bruce's Legacy. Um, we're on our third day of searching today, and uh, went out on the lake, um, continuing on the search, uh, working our way, uh, you know, towards shore, and uh, we, you know, located uh, what we felt was a boat, and. Um, we uh, yeah confirmed it was a boat and and had Tom Craftsman come over and uh, and put his ROV on it with a with a camera and everything to go down and uh, confirm what it was and and um, and it, it appeared to be the boat that we were looking for. And the three people were still with the boat apparently. Um. Um, I guess I'm, I, I guess I don't feel comfortable probably giving that information out this early in the. In the okay, know, but the I guess I guess what I'd ask is that people are curious about what may have happened. Is is there any explanation? What could have brought well, all this? I, I don't believe there is. Um, you know, at this point, it's you know we you know we certainly couldn't speculate uh, what you know what could have happened. I think that's. Uh, I don't know that that'll ever be explained. Um, um, yeah, I think that's just a. Okay, like, whereabouts was this in Lake Superior? How? What? What general area? Um, it'd be in the in the bay out there. Um, you know, I'm, I'm not real familiar with the the area at all, so I'm, I know no good to explain to where. I mean, it was in the bay uh, in the area that the family said that some of his fishing spots were, were located. Um, that's, um, so about four miles off Portage, then, the canal? Uh, yeah, it sounds like yeah, between four and five miles, yep. And um, was, for lack of a better word, was the boat on the bottom? Correct, yeah. And then what did you do once you knew that you had figured this out? Did you notify authorities or...? They deploy divers. I mean, has everything been recovered, or? Um, no, they didn't deploy divers, and, uh, um, and I guess I, I really wouldn't feel comfortable answering any of them. You know. Any okay, so like I guess that. what you're saying, I guess what you're saying then is, it's still a scene out there then. It's still a scene, yeah. Okay, and um, as far as we know at this point, even though I'm not speculating an accident as opposed to anything else. No, I mean no. I, I just couldn't even couldn't speculate anything like that. I don't think that would be um, it's, it's not for me to say. Yeah. And um, I know that people were very thankful that you guys got involved. Please tell me about your organization. Um, Bruce's legacy is something I started about um, a little over three years ago. Um, I uh, named it in honor of my brother. Uh, which uh, he lost his life about 21 years ago as a firefighter uh, trying to recover a drowning victim in a, in a swollen creek um, after a bunch of rain. Uh, and, you know, he was out doing things because uh, he had a big heart trying to help people, um, but he didn't have the training in doing what he was doing. And um, and uh, they ran into trouble and, and he drowned and, and uh, trying to recover the drowning victim. So, um, it was a tragic thing for you know our family and things to go through and and um, so you know I um, the following year I changed uh, my career and became um, you know uh, I, I started up a dive shop in our area and I went out and got all the training to help train other departments so they could get the proper training and uh, knowledge so they don't have to deal with the things that our family had to deal with. And that kind of is what inspired... The past 20 years is, is, um, is training uh, public safety divers and uh, to doing things right. And, um, and so a few years back or three years ago when i uh, seen, you know, over the years I've just seen so many families, you know, go uh, having their family members never be even found. And so I decided to start 
start this Bruce's legacy and, and go out and start buying the, the best gear that's on the market, latest technology, um, along, um, yeah, just, just over the year, three years, I've been able to build up, uh, some nice equipment, uh, go out and, um, end up before this case here, uh, in the three years that we've been in existence, we've, uh, been able to help, uh, 11 family members, uh, we brought back to their, uh, families to them, um, in the three years that we've been operating, so very rewarding to be able to help these families and give them closure that they so you know they deserve. That's amazing. Um, because sometimes even if it isn't the best answer, just knowing something. Exactly. Yeah. Can Can I ask you one other thing? I forgot to ask you about the actual search today. Um, four to five miles offshore. How deep a water would you say that is there at the bottom? Um, around uh, three hundred feet. Wow, so it is deep. Yeah. Okay. And do we know if there's like a caravan of boats still out there kind of securing everything? No, uh, that I wouldn't say either. I wouldn't want to comment on that. Okay. All right. And again, thank you. I just, I know there's lots of people that were thankful you get, you got involved. So thank you. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. All right. Bye bye.